Okay, so you know along the way if you have any questions or if you feel any pain or anything unusual, you're going to say something, right? Yes, sir. All right. She must like you, Blanca. She gave you a really teeny tiny needle for your injection. And, and she got you a fresh one. All right. All right, here we go. A little cold spray. And what's little Gonzo say? Stick. Sting and a burn. Stick and a burn. Wow. She knows my phrase. She knows your mm -hmm. phrase. Well, I guess it's her, her cyst, so I guess that's completely okay. So we're using uh, some 1% uh, lidocaine with that. See it, right? Yes, there's a little spot there. Are you blocking my camera? No, I'm blocking, we're I'm good. blocking my face. You have a little punctum. Mm -hmm. So you have a little spot where this might have drained once in the past. Has it ever drained that you know about? No, not that I'm aware of. Mm -hmm. Okay. Does it burn? Yeah. You called it. Stick sting in a burn, like a little, little bee sting. Did you buy my shirt? No, but I was going to. I just haven't had a chance. A likely story. <laughs> All right. So we injected the 1% lidocaine with Epi here, and you it's can buffered. see it's buffered, good. 8.4% sodium bicarb. We're gonna make a little incision, are you ready? Yes, sir. Are you sure? Yep. All right, here we go. This is where you scream just for fun. <laughs> Please don't. I don't wanna make him jump, trust me. Oh, I had a patient make me jump so hard, it was hilarious. Oh, they got you good, didn't they? I remember that. Oh, no. did, you re you, did you record it? No, yeah. I think you recorded that no. one. Uh -uh. I'm just taking it slow here. Okay. Good. I'm go a little bit deeper over I here. I like the way it sounds. A little scratch. Mm -hmm. I know I can hear it. That's so weird. Does <laughs> it feel weird when he's cutting? No, I just, I just hear it, but I don't feel okay. anything. Yeah. It's weeping. I think some of the anesthetic that I put in there just kind of leaking out a little mm. bit. We're starting with some scissors technique here, mm -hmm. separating the skin off the top of the cyst. Oh yeah, so Mr. Gonzo graduated, got his ring. Yeah, oh he got yeah. his ring too. He got huh? his ring, yeah, he got it yesterday. Did he? Yes. That's pretty awesome. He's been showing it off. I bet so. I love him. Well, my last good comment I read, somebody said, Dr. Gilmore, you have a supermodel working in your clinic. And her <laughs> name is Gumby. She is a supermodel. She's a supermodel. Oh, right? no. That was so sweet. I think they just want you to do another dance for them. Right? Well, that's <laughs> Little snippies you're hearing. Yeah. We're just separating the cyst now from the wall. Okay. I see it. Mm -hmm. Do you? Yeah. One day, one day I'll be able to do one of these procedures and I can't wait. Yeah. <laughs> Opening this up a little bit more. Now, baby. Thank you, Dr. Drew. Mm -hmm. Good. That's coming right. You okay? Right there. Mm -hmm. That's how you move. Mm -mm. Yeah, whenever you move, it makes us think you, you're you hurting. No, no. I'll say, oh my God, that hurts. <laughs> <laughs> so I've grabbed onto the cyst now. Mm -hmm. I'm going to try to bring it out this way. Is it big? Uh, it's not as big as you'd think, yeah. Mm -hmm. I didn't think it was going to be that big. Really? I, yeah, I thought it was going to be something smaller. Like that one that girl had on her chest? Ooh, that was a pretty interesting one, wasn't it? It was a little... <laughs> no. Gonzo and her sound effects. <laughs> I like her sound effect. My favorite one, I'm sorry, but it would have to be Bobby. You like the Bobby? Bobby like I didn't do that one. The oh, lipoma. the lipoma, yeah. Yes. Cool. Oh, you saw Bobby? I did, that was cool. Bobby the lipoma. There we go. Wow. I'm going to take that. a look at there. That's that's the what's left of the cyst itself, parts of it. Wow. There may still be some left in there, so let's go check that out. How you feeling, Blanca? Feeling okay. All right. I don't know if I told my story on the tape or not, but 
when I was a kid, I lived down in the valley for a little while, and uh, for entertainment. Before we were, while we were still in high school, we weren't old enough to drink in Texas. But uh -huh, we would go across the uh, across the border. There's more in here, and uh, go into Matamoros. And there was a club not too far from the border called Mi Matamoros. Yes, Matamoros or Matamoros right. from <laughs> Texas. Yeah. You have to say it right, Matamoros. Matamoros. How did I do? There you go. Did I get it? Yep, yeah. that's good. Anyway, there was a place called Blanca White's Matamoros Long Bar. There you go. <laughs> How old were you? Seventeen. Oh. We're, We're almost legal. legal. Almost. Young blood. But in in Mexico, it there, I guess matter. it didn't matter. So we would just go and we'd have fun in Matamoros. Uh, uh, <laughs> hey, he's feeling better. I'll have to be nice. I know. Anymore. You do too. So do uh, it's some... boring if I'm nice to you. It's true. All right, don't be nice to me. Wait a minute. What are you trying to do? You're trying to get me to agree to let you be mean to me? Yeah. <laughs> it's too late. You already did. <laughs> well, that's not very nice. Need some more 4x4s four four, there? I would. That would be very good. A, little, a couple little pieces in there we're going to snag. See those right there? Looks like an eye socket. It kind of does a little a bit. A smaller eye socket. Very small eye socket, right? This I is feel a, a little bit of a sting. Did you feel a little sting? Mm -hmm. We're actually done. I'm just checking out, making sure we don't have anything left anywhere. Okay. But I think we're in good shape here. I don't see any don't cyst see material left at all. Get right in here. Please don't fall. Don't fall down. Pick up there. I do want to learn. I mean, Harry lets me do the packing, okay. which is fine, actually. I know I'm weird. That's not weird. Mm -hmm. I thought that was thunder at first. I think it was somebody rolling a chair. They're rolling them. The, the, the cleaning ladies here already. Yeah, okay. Maria. Ay, que puntería. I'm just kidding. <laughs> okay, be nice. I don't know what all that means. So I'll, I'll, I'll look it up later. It's nothing bad. It used to be a show. Oh, called yeah. like that, yeah. En Univision. <laughs> Is that the same as Univision? Yes. Mm -hmm. And Madam Morris. <laughs> oh, Doc. Blanca, did you fall asleep? Nope, I'm here. She's so quiet. She's very quiet. We're not used to our patients being quiet. Just trying not to move. <laughs> we, like them, we like them to yell and squirm around a little bit. Oh, okay. then, then we know they're doing okay. <laughs> I used to have somebody that would cut for me, but... I don't feel like it. She's not, she's not in the cutting mood today, mm. huh? She's just wearing gloves for looks today. Yeah, that's for sure. <laughs> I want to look important with the gloves. Mm -hmm. So you really wanted to be a star on the Dr. Gilmore and Team Sis Buster show, huh? I don't know. I, I I didn't expect to get this. I was like, well, if I'm going anywhere, I'm going to Dr. Gilmore. There you go. Yeah. Awesome. Well, we're just honored that you did. Aww. We are. definitely are. It reminds me a little bit of Grover, how he came all the way from Dallas. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. He was we awesome. Love. Wasn't Grover great? He was yes. so nice. We're, we're still wearing our gifts. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Oh, he gave out gifts? Yeah. Oh, uh, you missed, you missed you a video. Words. We oh. did a, a uh, follow-up. Oh, okay. Yeah. Don't move your fingers. Okay, right, so you know beautiful. what the rules are, right? It looks great. So all you need to do is just keep this clean and covered, right? Okay. And um, Dr. you Gronko. can come back in a week and we'll take the stitches out for you. Okay, seven days. Or seven days is fine, okay. yeah. Okay. And just keep it clean and covered. Don't put any ointments on it and you'll do great. Okay. Let's stick sting in a burn, you know. Take a deep breath. Good. And we're gonna do a little stick in the other direction, okay? You ready? Good. You're doing great. I went all the way through there, didn't we? One more going this way. You breathing all right? Mm -hmm. Is it bad? She's squeezing You're squeezing mama's hand? Mm -hmm. Okay, that should be plenty enough. 
Have you had any fevers or chills? Yes. You have. When did you start having fevers or chills? Um, a couple of nights, about a week ago. About a week ago? But none of the past couple of nights. Okay. All right. Hopefully we've got some good anesthesia here. We're gonna make a little incision. Are you ready? Good. There's our culture. Right, good. You ready? Oh wow. Okay, that's pus coming out that you feel. Okay. Okay. This is a really nice abscess you've got here. Thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome. All right. Let's put our knife down for a minute and. Don't go anywhere. Can you open this for me, please, ma'am? And if we don't do a culture, I'm going to get griped at. So these are these are always staff. And I've not had one of these come back that wasn't staff. All right. So here's our culture from right in there. Is this the correct set way? You don't pull it out? Take that out one. There we go. Is that better? Yes. This goes down in there. You need more. Break this. Okay. You feeling all right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Now we're going to do a little squeezing on this. We're going to get more out. If this squirts on me, I'm going to scream. You all right? Mm -hmm. okay. Oh, wow. We're getting clumps out now. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, my. All right. I got some more gauze here. Get more out here. Good. I'm just you feeling some pressure, right? Mm-hmm. Okay, good. It looks like there is a little underlying sebaceous cyst. I'm seeing more than just pus here. I'm seeing some oil. Mm -hmm. And that's what a sebaceous cyst is. It's a collection of uh, oil from the skin or sebum. Mm -hmm. Okay, you okay? Mm -hmm. Is that mom doing that to you? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, mom. You're missing the fun here. No, I'm not. <laughs> I'm saving you from me passing out. Oh, you're not going to pass out, are you? Yeah. Ooh, this is pretty nasty. <laughs> it really is. We've got Carla observing today. Say hi, Carla. Hi. Yeah. I'm having fun back here. Aren't you having fun? <laughs> Mom's looking at her weird. Yeah, everybody in the video can't really see, but mom's sitting on the floor holding our patient's hand because she's wonderful in supporting her daughter in all things, including mm. pus-filled pus -filled mm. sebaceous cyst. Mm -hmm. Are you squeezing it or something, Doc? Yeah, we're squeezing. Yeah. She's not giving me any feedback, so I'm believing that she's not having much pain. Is it hurting a lot? Um, yeah. Whew. I can't tell you how bad this smells. Oh my gosh. Did you smell it? No. Oh, you don't want to. No. <laughs> We're going to press on it again, okay? okay? We want to get as much out as we possibly can without making a big incision. I made a little incision, okay? Okay. And we, we could make a bigger incision. It would probably be easier, but then you'd have a bigger scar. So we want to avoid that. And such a pretty young lady as you. Ooh, look at that. It looks like a toenail just came out of there. Do you see that? That looked, that looked like the part of the the pudding that gets stuck to the side that gets real hard you know Gross. <laughs> well that's you kind have of, to be so graphic well i'm trying to describe to my patient who's hooded currently she will see soon she's gonna see it online you're gonna go online and look aren't you yes okay i'm, I'm working a lot of this out it is really bad you would have you probably would have thrown up no she wouldn't no you would have though Yes, I yeah. would have passed out. That's why you couldn't video this. Ow, Gina? Don't say her name. Oh. We're trying to protect her identity. <laughs> Still late right now. I'm going to have to bleep that out or something. You sure? You okay? Uh-huh. Okay, you're doing a really good job. Ask me if I'm okay. You're okay? Are you okay? My hand's numb. Well, uh, you all right? Take yeah. some deep breaths, okay? I still feel some more in here, so I'm going to try to get it to come on out. Looks like we are looks like we might be at the bottom here. Oh, there's a little piece that came out. Have you felt this kind of, that, that area being kind of thick and full before this? I know you said like 10 years ago you had something, but... 
Yeah, it's been like, it, what I, I thought it was like scar tissue, it was just a knot and it didn't change in size and it stayed the same for the past 10 years. Yeah, you got some more coming out right there. There's a hunk of it looking kind of bloody though. I think we're almost to the stopping point here. Okay, one really good push. You ready? <gasps> Breathe. Okay. I'm not breathing. <laughs> okay, so now we're going to put some packing in here. Carla, can you open that okay? packing for mm -hmm. me? I'm packing. You open that and then the, the forceps. Okay, we're going to put some packing in, okay? Okay. Mm -hmm. We want this to stay open. So we've got a fresh new bottle of uh, packing strips. Okay, very good. Here, just set it down right there for me. Freshly open, ready to go, and we are going to start packing this wound, okay? Hopefully, Is that painful for us? It shouldn't be because we still have some uh, local anesthesia, right? Does that hurt? No. You should be able to feel it like some pressure, but it shouldn't be sharp pain, okay? Here we go. We're putting more in now. So today is the 30th of December. The poor Texans did not make the playoffs. What? No, they didn't make the playoffs. How about that J.J. Watt, though, right? What a player. A little shout out. she's going to marry. That's going to be my son-in-law. Have you seen those J.J. Watt t-shirts that girls are wearing? Mm -mm. They say, sack me, J.J. <laughs> I think they're kind of cute. I think they're kind of cute, yeah. Yeah, how would you feel if your daughter wore that? If it was for J.J. Watt, I'd be okay with that. He's <laughs> I mean, obviously she's a little young now, but if she was of the age where she was, you know, uh, thinking about those kinds of things. We're putting a lot of packing in here. Are you okay? Mm -hmm. Okay, good. Just want to make sure you're not hurting. Nothing else. Massive amount of alcohol can't help. Well, that, that's what we had for anesthesia 100 years ago or 150 years ago. All right. Okay, we're going to pull the uh, packing out, okay? Let's okay. take a deep breath, blow it out, and again. All right. Very good. You okay? Mm-hmm. You can punch them later. Yes. That's always okay. I gave you permission to punch them. <laughs> now I have a little lidocaine here. Okay. We're going to squirt it in. I take the needle off. We're just going to squirt this in here. See if we can't give you a little bit of pain relief. Because we're going to have to pack this again, okay? Okay. Being kind to you today. I'm always kind. That's a little shout out right there to all of my internet friends who chided me for not offering a little local anesthesia for the repacking. You weren't going to offer a local? <laughs> <laughs> well, we usually don't have to. How's that? Is that sore in there? Um, a little bit. I'm just feeling now to see, you know, oh, yeah, improvement that's... there. That's really good. Okay, we'll give it another few seconds to start working. We have your special bottle here. Okay. So it's New Year's Eve, huh? Mm-hmm. Okay, we're going to start working on putting some packing in here. Are you ready? Um, I guess. Take a deep breath. Okay, good. And again. Blow it out. Really good. Again. Mm -hmm. okay. Take a little break. Deep breath. Good. Blow it out. And again. Big stick. Big push there. Good. Again. So how are you doing? Is it hurting a lot? Or just a little um, bit? Just a little bit? Yeah. Deep breath. Good. Okay. You're so you had some questions earlier about getting the sack out, didn't you? 
Yes. Okay, and so we talked about that. And sometimes we can and sometimes we can't. It all depends on lots of things like the age of the lesion and things like that. And I'm going to pull the packing out. Are you ready? Mm -hmm. Here we go. Oh, look at that. That's a great looking wound. Look in there. Look how clean that is. That just looks so pretty. Okay. Well, there we go. If not, then I'll hold them down. You can kick them. <laughs> She may, she may do that anyway, so. No, she won't. She likes you. There we go. Okay. So we're going to cut this right now. Oh, she didn't take that much packing. No, time. no, no. It's good. Much better. Once again, I'll remind all of our viewers that this is your special bottle of packing. It's not being shared. <laughs> okay. Good. So we're going to put a dressing on this. You're keeping, uh, you're continuing to take your antibiotics, right? Yes. And so it's Friday, so um, I don't see any reason why we can't just leave this alone now since we're further along and uh, come back on Monday then, okay? Okay. All right. Very good. Good work. Thank you. Yes. Are we going? Mm -hmm. All right. We're back. How you feeling? Good. How was your weekend? I wrecked my car. You, you wrecked your car? What happened? I was driving and I went to pass someone and really? I saw that I didn't have enough time so I went to get behind them and I tapped the brakes and turned to get behind them and I slid and spun out and hit the woods. <laughs> you hit the woods? Mm-hmm. Okay. tree to you, be exact or a couple of trees. Some small trees? I, I drove over a tree. <laughs> you went over a small tree. Is it more like a bush, maybe? No, no, it was a tree. They had to use chainsaws to um, cut the tree to get my car oh, off of sounds, it. I'm just, uh, <laughs> I'm shocked. But you're okay. Yes. You didn't, you know, you weren't knocked unconscious or something. No, like no, no, no. Wow. Okay. Did you have any fevers or chills? No. Good. You still taking your medicine? Yes. Okay. Let's take this uh, packing out. You ready? Mm -hmm. Do you for it? Not bad at all. Looks like it's healing. We're going to squirt some lidocaine in here for you, okay? Okay. Ready? Yes. There we go. Give it a moment to work. Well, I didn't have anything uh, anywhere nearly that exciting over the weekend. <laughs> I didn't wreck any vehicles. Nothing like that. I mean, that does sound like fun, though. I'm just kidding, of course. <laughs> is, that hor is that hurting at all? Um, a little tender, but... This is looking really good. Yeah, I think we are going to need to pack this again, okay? Okay. Just this will be the last time, though, I promise. That's what he said, Friday. No, I didn't. I said maybe. I didn't say definitely. All right, I just said maybe. Well, so you didn't sit around and watch football or... Um, that, huh? yesterday I laid on the couch only because it was too, uh, difficult to sit up. Was your back hurt? Um, my neck. I think I strained the muscles in my neck. Better today than it was yesterday, though. Let's put some packing in here, okay? Okay. Did you go to the emergency room after the accident? No. Okay. I can give you a muscle relaxer to take. I can't have you suffering when you're under my care. Hurting? No. Okay. Are you ready for school next week? No. Me either. <laughs> Is it next? Well, that's right. I start next week. On Couple Tuesday. of well, I start Tuesday. Nursing study. Hmm. I don't have any school next week. I'm just gonna have to deal with my attitude. But I already do that. So True. It's really not a big deal, is it? Yeah. Look at that. Looks so cute, doesn't it? That little. I'm dressing, I'm packing right there. It really does. Get a good close-up of that. 
There we go. So we'll be able to get that packing out with no problem. This time we're going to go two days, okay? Okay. So um, you come back on Wednesday, we'll remove that, and we will be done with the packing at that time. Okay. Okay. So this will be our last video. Do you want to say goodbye to everybody? Bye, everyone. And you did great, right? I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Bye. Do you love Dr. Gilmore's cyst bursting, pimple popping, and infection draining videos? Want to see the extended procedures with never before seen footage, early releases, and no ads? Then support us on Patreon for dozens of HD ad free videos. And don't worry, you can still watch on YouTube for free. But if you want the premium content with no ads, become a patron on Patreon. There's a link in the description. Hey folks, are you wondering how to boost your immune system to help protect yourself in cold and flu season? Well, maybe it's time for you to stack up on Meta7. Meta7 ingredients like B12 and B6 are the building blocks to a healthy immune system. In fact, according to health.com, vitamin B12 is a powerhouse. It helps make DNA, nerve and blood cells, and is crucial for a healthy brain and immune system. So if you're over 50, don't eat a balanced diet, or suffer from fatigue and could use a nice boost, then try Meta7 today. Meta7, I've got more energy. Uh, I feel good. I don't have any aches and pains like I usually have. And I notice just more energy with them. Since I spend more energy and more energetic, mm -hmm. I sleep better. So it's been a pretty good product for me. Notice a huge, tremendous energy boost. Before I was really sluggish, I didn't want to do anything, even my work. It showed it, but now since I've been on it, my work is getting completed. Check out the Amazon links in the description below, and you can order today with Amazon Prime.